that all over. <laughs> May the words of my mouth and the meditations of all of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O God, our strength and redeemer. Amen. For those of you who do not know me, I am Jana Lee Borhoff, and I am the Minister of Congregational Care here at Mission Hills United Church of Christ. And I have been on staff since February, and I love being with you. You are truly an amazing church. I want to reread a couple of parts of the Thessalonians that uh, Ronnie just read. And as I read it, I want you to think about this church and what a wonderful church you are. So Paul writes, you became imitators of us, of the Lord, when you accepted the message that came from the Holy Spirit with joy in spite of suffering. And as a result, you became an example to all believers in Macedonia and Acacia. The message about the Lord rang out from you, not only in Macedonia and Acacia, but in every place. The news about your faithfulness to God has spread so that we don't even need to mention it. People tell us about what sort of welcome we had from you and how you turn, from, turn to God from idols. And as a result, you are serving the living and true God, and you are waiting for God's Son from heaven. God's Son is Jesus, who is the one God raised from the dead, and who is the one who will rescue us from the coming wrath. This passage talks about being a great church. And the church at Thessalonica was one of the churches Paul had started. And he wrote back to them saying, you're doing a really good job. You are preaching the word. And remember, they didn't have mass media back then, so they had to go out and preach the word. And the first three verses, again, I want to read. We always thank God for all of you when we mention you constantly in our prayers. This is because we remember your work that comes from faith, your effort that comes from love, and your perseverance that comes from hope. Faith, hope, love. We've heard those three words together often in the New Testament. First of all here, we are a church who prays for each other. We have an awesome prayer team, actually four teams, right, Linda? And these people who are on the prayer team dedicate themselves to pray every single day for the people that they are asked to pray for. That is a wonderful thing that we are praying for each other. Prayer is vitally important. And to know that we can talk with God and that God hears our prayers. We don't have to go through a mediator. We can talk while we're driving down the road. We can talk with our knees on our knees. We can talk to God in the shower and we can talk to God wherever we are. And God hears us. God hears every prayer that we pray. So Mission Hills is a church that constantly prays for each other. The next word I want to focus on is faith. We 
also exhibit faith in God. This church is grounded in faith in God, and faith is our relationship with God. As we grow in our faith together, we worship together. Pastor David does a daily connection on the internet. We pray together, both communally and privately. We serve together, and especially to our community. Every month, we give food to our neighbors. We give of ourselves and our talents and our money. And I have found this church to be extremely generous in talents, in money, and in giving of ourselves. Each month, there is a chance to donate to a special fund. This month is dedicated to the neighbors in need, a special mission offering of the United Church of Christ that supports ministries of justice and compassion in the United States. This year, their mission is Behold and focuses on environmental justice. We give of our writing and our artistic talents to make a yearly Advent book. And by the way, Alan Barbara says thanks as they got enough submissions for the whole booklet. And we grow in faith together in love. The church in Thessalonica was praised for their effort in love. Mission Hills embodies love. Last week, Pastor David proclaimed at the end of his sermon that throughout history, all God has ever wanted from people is love, mutual love, and for God's people to love each other. To carry on from there, we need to look at how love is shown to each other and to our neighbors. From Mark 12, 30 to 31, Jesus says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength and to love your neighbor as yourself. Loving yourself, that can be a hard place to begin. I have not always felt worthy of God's love. In high school, I felt like a failure. I tried out for every position possible at school. The school treasurer, the girls' representative. I even tried out for the um, drill team. And the drill team would take as many people as were capable of doing the drills. Me and one other girl did not make the team. Oh well, <laughs> it, it was probably a blessing in disguise. But even through all these failures, I knew God's love is constant. God's love is constant for you, and God's love is constant for me. God's love is constant. God's love is constant, and God calls me by name. We heard that in a, both scriptures today, that God calls me by name. God calls me, Jana Lee, to be your minister of congregational care. God calls Marla to be an Advent story writer. She did, I think, three submissions this year. And the other day, she had a whole booklet of stories from each year. Thank you, Marla. God has called you by name, Chris, to be our organist. God has called you by name, Sage, to be our worship technology mastermind. Marilyn, God has called you by name to be the clerk on our council. 
Gloria, God has called you by name to be our sexton or custodian. Ellie, God has called you by name to be one of our section leaders. Jerry, God has called you by name to be our moderator. Jane, God has called you by name to take care of the ushers and to make sure the service runs smoothly. Melissa, God has called you by name to sign for our people who cannot hear. Put your own name in that sentence. God has called me your name, and how has God called you to serve Mission Hills United Church of Christ? So we're going to do this all together. God has called me, Jana Lee, say your name, to be minister, to be singer, to be musical. God has called Tom to be in the bell choir and the other choir and using his musical talents. God has called each one of us to serve God. That's pretty exciting. And this church is vital. It's vital to our community. You're a, a presence in pride. Giving of food in the neighborhood shows that you care about your neighbors. And you, we, this church is an example of God's love being shown to the world. Mission Hills preserves in hope. Hope of being called by name. We preserve in hope that we can continue to serve others. We persevere in hope and love that we can love our neighbors and continue to serve. We persevere in hope and grow together in our faith. On our website, Mission Hills proclaims, in response to God's love, we seek to be God's love in the world. And we can be God's love through faith, hope, and love, and by continuing to hear God call you by name. Amen.